one and one trip to the Bahamas for your team. What what did you learn from them in that span of time? Those two well, games? we were disappointed, to be honest with you. We had a 19 point lead at halftime, and then you know got in some foul trouble, took some bad shots, and ended up losing the game. So we were very disappointed in the loss, but we bounced back, had a lot of energy, and uh, you know looking forward to the game on Sunday. Got some good minutes though in those games from Madison. It seems every time we're talking about her, she's just continuing to improve. Yeah, she played extremely well. Played well on defense. Uh, hit hit the open shots. Uh, hit a lot of shots, and uh, it was good to see that she was uh, freshman of the year in the, or freshman of the week in the Big 12, uh, co-freshman of the week. So that was good to see. Oh, absolutely. It lets us move Kaiser to the two, and I can rest some of the other players when she moves there. You know, give Katrina a little bit of break, a tiny break, and uh, so it really helps us uh, when that happens. And then, you know, not about the middle of December, we'll get Lucky Rudd back too. So that really gives us some more that we can substitute on the front. How much does that change as far as like? Here's what you can do offensively or philosophy-wise. Have more options now, especially when, you know. Well, that it makes a big difference. Yeah. It really does. I mean, when when Madison and, and, and uh, uh, Kaiser are on the floor, it gives you really two ball handlers, two passers, yeah. and that type of stuff. And uh, you know, they both can score, and it, it really helps you against pressure and that type of stuff. Probably got out of your staff meeting. What, what's the number one thing you're talking about? What is on your mind right now with these guys? Well, it's still defense. It's still, still execution. Uh, not taking quick shots. I mean, that's the issue we're going to have all year. I mean, we have a lot of scores on the perimeter, and you know they can get a shot anytime they want. And but we don't want those quick shots. We, 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 we got to move the ball. Got to make the defense defense swing a little bit and, and then get everybody involved and then, you know, if it's a good, and then get a good shot. Because so, a little bit like what Huggins was saying, do you, do you, have you ever put uh, restrictions on when people can shoot it or deep into the shot clock, hey, don't take a shot before so much time on the clock? Actually, I haven't, because, yeah. you know, anytime you're pushing the ball down, you're looking for right. early offense. Right. And, Sometimes because of that, you take a quick shot. Now, when we don't have early offense, then I want a little bit more ball movement and not a quick shot. But, you know, if we come down and somebody's wide open, I mean, we may not get that shot in, in half court offense. So I, I don't mind that. But if we don't get an early shot, and then, then I, I don't want a quick shot once we start it off. Biggest issue maybe not getting ball reversals and making people defend the floor and Switching the floor. And well, absolutely. I mean, people score off of closeouts on, on, on ball reversal. That's when they make mistakes. That, you know, defenses make mistakes on closeouts and on, on ball picks and, and, and communication. So if we never put them in that situation because of quick shots, and then we're never going to break their defense. What are we going to see Sunday? Is this a typical SEC team or maybe not? What do you, what do you they don't have great size, to be honest with you. I mean, they're 6'3", 6'2", 6'1". You know, they have good players. They have some shooters. They have some athletes. Uh, really good guard, right? You got a terrific guard. Yeah, that's about 6'1", 6'2". Plays inside, outside. You can shoot the three. So, what to be aware of her. Uh, you know, they play a lot of man. They pressure some. They'll pressure out of a 2 2 one and also a diamond press, so we've got to be aware of that and, and back in demand. Now, with all that being said, they'll probably play us a zone. But what they've done before this game, they played majority of man. But matchup wise, pretty comfortable. I, I, I'm very comfortable anytime the matchups with the guards, right. to be honest with you. So I'm very comfortable. With that being said, you know, we need to stay out of foul trouble. We, we need to get people some rest and, and be fresh. Foul trouble is basically what got you down there, right? Yeah. We fouled out three people that last game. And then I, I think I ended up with Tynese playing center against them down there. So that's not a good situation to be in. The Iowa game, obviously, it wasn't one of her better shooting games. 
what was she like after that kind of performance? You know, how did she respond to well, the next day? You know what? I, I don't. With Tanis, I just don't ever. I don't talk. I mean, if she has a bad shooting game, she has a bad shooting yeah. game. The worst thing I could do is just keep bringing it up and, and all that. You know, I just talk to her about shot selection, you know, that type of stuff. And, and don't be, let it come to you. Let the offense come to you. Don't force it and all that. But I never talk about, with any of the scores, about numbers. I really don't. I got mad the other day and said, bring the stats down. And then they brought them down and I didn't give them to them. Because uh, I, I, I don't, you know, because, right, scores, I don't want it to be a negative thing because the next game you may hit eight out of ten. So I never get caught up in that. I noticed your schedule is pretty unique. You've got a lot of space in right now. Is that, is that good? Well, not really, but because the tournament was yeah. moved, that we had more time. Right. Before we play a couple games a week, and it just so happened that we were able to spread it out a little bit. And, you know, when the other schools were available also. Right. So uh, that's just the way it ended up. Now, there's no doubt our girls hate having all these practices right now. But as a coach, I enjoy having them. Because we can tweak things and maybe put a couple of new plays in and that type of stuff. More fundamentals maybe too? Uh, yeah. yeah. You're always working on that. Always working on taking care of the basketball. Uh, angles uh, defensively and all that so yeah I, I enjoy practice now if you ask my players they're not going to say that but I enjoy it I enjoy it. You, you feel like you got a lot accomplished heading into Missouri yeah I think we're ready to play I think we are ready to play today to be honest with you but uh, you know we, we got a couple more days to get ready and uh, we're looking forward to the game we think it'll be a great game do you like these challenges? Yeah. These conference challenges? It gives, you, it gives you an opportunity to play somebody, a power five school yeah. that you don't normally play. You know, you probably wouldn't schedule. So, I mean, I, I really like it when we win them. Uh, you know, last year. Home. Yeah. <laughs> last year we played Texas A&M. That was a lot of fun. But we won the game. Yeah. But if you don't win the game, it's probably not a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, it, it makes you play another power five, which we definitely need to do. You know, thinking back on that, I think one of your best performances in the last year. Yeah, we played very well down there last year, very well. If you remember last year, we were playing very well and then went to the last game right before Christmas when Christina King broke her foot. That's right. And then we lost another player for four to six weeks and right during conference play, and that really hurt us. Maybe this time around you add one, play well, and Going. Yeah, well, hope, that's what we're hoping. That's what we're hoping. <laughs>